Well, today I went to check on my Comet Moth caterpillars and look what I found. This is Purge, a sure sign that one of them is done eating and ready to start making a cocoon. Purge is the caterpillar emptying the remaining contents of its gut before spinning a cocoon. I believe it came from this one and take a look at the size of it next to my hand. They are massive caterpillars, not as long as a hickory horn devil, but definitely thicker. And a couple of hours later, I found him doing this. He had selected a spot and was already spinning away. The red you can see is actually the bottom of his pro legs. He is upside down at the moment. Here is a view from underneath, and you will see him twist and pull at the leaves to bring them down into his cocoon. The construction process is actually pretty amazing, and these are really unique cocoons. Being native to Madagascar, they have rainy seasons that can drown a regular cocoon, so this species has evolved a special way to deal with it. They weave the cocoon full of holes, large enough to let water drain through so they won't drown, but small enough to still offer them protection. And as the hours pass, the cocoon is taking on a more enclosed shape, and now you can see all those little holes and how amazingly similar the size of them are. And now, a day later, here we have the final product. The cocoon is now hard to the touch, but still see-through, especially with the light on it, and fully protecting the caterpillar inside while it does its transformation. The cocoon is quite heavy, but the caterpillars do a good job of reinforcing the branch it hangs on with silk as well, making it quite sturdy. And during this time, a second one has cocooned as well. This one decided to add a piece of cardboard to the cocoon. So for now, it is his. So now we wait. It can be two weeks, a month, or several months until the moths emerge, but I'm hoping they will develop quickly as I've waited a very long time to see these amazing moths in real life, and being so close to the finish line is a very good feeling. The next post on this species will be the moths, so make sure to keep your notifications on as I don't think you will want to miss seeing these incredible large moths to come.